Hello Super Sentai fans and welcome back to Toku Topics. Today I'm taking a look at the next set of Gashapon Avataro gears from Dom Brothers. So this is Gashapon set 4 and it uh, just released in Japan a couple of weeks ago. It came out like in towards the end of July. And I finally have it here today from Toku Collectibles. So if you guys have kind of known the drill for these Gashapon sets for Avatar Sentai Don Brothers specifically, there's always a rare in these sets, but I have been skipping it this year compared to last year when I got them for Zenkai because I just kind of figure usually I can kind of find them for cheaper later on and I don't really need them right now. Um, so basically, I believe if I'm correct, this set had Kiji Brother as the rare, and if that's the case, it's going to be up on screen right now. It's either Kiji Brother or Inu Brother, I don't remember which one they put in this one, although I'm pretty sure that it's Kiji. So, this is, I think, our last Gashapon set till, I think, maybe September? I know Gashapon set 5 has been announced, but I don't remember exactly what month it comes out in. And so this is the main set of 6. And what's nice about this is that there are four exclusive gears in this set, so the vast majority of these are not repeats. Uh, this one is, though. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with this one, and that is because this one is John Torbolt right here. So this one was previously exclusive to the Tiger or Tiger Dora, and uh, now we have it in a Gashapon format. So very similar to the deluxe counterpart of it, and I will take a look at this in the Ryuko no Geki in a second. But, you know, it's just a nice little way to get uh, Don Torbolt if you didn't want to get the Tiger Dora. Although, I love this thing, so I don't know why you wouldn't want to get it. So we have that one to start. And then, let's go ahead and go into our Legend Sentai ones. So this one is also exclusive to this set, and that is Car Ranger. So there it is right there with Red Racer. Looks very nice, and this one is gear number 27. Which makes sense, because it is compatible with the Zenkaiger stuff and it matches what it was in the original Zenkaiger toy line for Sentai Gears. And then I think this one might have also been in Gashapon set 4 last year, or it was certainly around this uh, like point in the Gashapon line last year, and that is Geki Ranger. So there's our Geki Ranger gear right there, you know, just kind of filling all the gaps in the collection, and this is number 40. So there it is. And then the next two gears, very exciting ones that I'm very happy to have here today because they are six ranger gears and I love six ranger gears. So these two are like the other two I just took a look at, Gashapon exclusives. And the first up, one that we have up here is Toku Rokugo from Tokyujir. So absolutely love that all the six rangers are getting gears. Toku Rokugo also like never gets any love in terms of like legend stuff. Uh, the only other legend thing he has is the Ranger Key that came out a number of years ago. So now this is very nice. We have my two favorite Sentai gimmicks for one of my favorite uh, Six Ranger suits because it's an orange ranger. It's kind of unique and everything like that. And I love his character. So really happy to get that. And that is gear number 53 because it will act just like a normal Tokyo gear in the Dawn Blaster and in the Gear Laner and the Gear Toge Laner, but it will recognize it as Tokuroku Go in the Tiger Dora. So we will take a look at that. And then speaking of six ranger suits that I really like, I don't like this guy's character as much as I like Togoroku Go, but I love his suit, and that is Juo the World. So I absolutely, absolutely love this suit. And it's really cool to get it here on a gear. So it looks really pretty. Love how that turned out. And this is gear number 55, and will function as a Juo Juo gear and the other stuff, but you will recognize it as Juo the World in the Tiger Dora. And then finally, this one's weird, and I do gotta check this one out because you might be able to tell what it is already. This is a Alter Gear for Q Ranger, which Q Ranger's Alter Gear previously was released in uh, Deluxe Gear Set 4, or 3? Three? 3, sorry, if I, if I remember correctly. So this is a repeat, I think. So the weird thing about this is that obviously it looks like the Q Ranger Alter, it's got the sparkly sticker and everything, it's got the blue translucent plastic. However, uh, it was pointed out by, I think, Crane Joe on Twitter, and I think maybe a couple of other people, that there's an actual error on that gear. So this right here is the Q-Ranger Ultra Gear from Deluxe Set 3. And as you can see, this one was gear number 90. So by that logic, this one should also be gear number 90. However, it is actually gear number 56, which matches up with the original Q-Ranger gear. So... This was a weird error to where it was advertised to be Key Ranger Alter, and it has the physical appearance of Key Ranger Alter. However, it has the gear combination, and you can even see that on the little notches that are cut out. And yeah, does that match this one? It does not. So this is actually a unique 
weird gear to where it has the appearance of an altar, but functions as a regular. So this one actually will work in the Zenkaidra stuff, because it will recognize it as a Q-Ranger gear. So even though it is a repeat, technically it's new, although I don't think that was the intention. So these are two different gears, technically. Very, very bizarre. I don't know how that happened or why that happened, but that's what we got for whatever reason. So now that we've opened up all these gears, I'm going to go ahead and kind of reframe the shot here. And we're going to take a look at them in the Dawn Blaster and in the Tiger Godar. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start with the Dawn Blaster and Dawn Torbolt. So there is that one. And of course, next up we have Car Ranger. One more. There we go. All right. And then next up we have Geki Ranger. Next up we have, I mean, I already told you what these ones are going to do, but even though it's Tokuroko Go, should be Tokuroko Go, it will just function as Tokuger. Finally, for new gears, kind of, we have Juo the World, which will function as a regular Juo Jin. And then finally, just to prove it to you, how this Q Ranger one is, you know, looks like an altar, but it's going to function like a regular Q Ranger, which, like I said, is still extremely strange. Very strange. So this is actually the only Ultra Gear that will actually work in Zenkaidra stuff, even though that technically was not really supposed to be how it was going to go. So now we're going to do the kind of backwards order for the Tiger Dora here. We're all on way. There we go. So see, it recognizes it as Ho-Ho Soldier because it just treats it as a normal Key Ranger. And of course, the other two are going to function the way that they're supposed to. The Jew of the World and Kokuroku Go. This way? Nope, this way. Every time. It's every time. I'm going to go ahead and leave all the new gears plugged into the Tiger Dora, because we're going to come back to them in a minute. Uh, then we had Tokuroku Go. And then the next two are just going to be treated as the same exact thing. They're just going to say Legend Sentai.
And then finally, it's going to say the exact same thing, but we're going to go ahead and test out Car Ranger as well. And then since it's here, we are going to test this out as well, Don Torvalds. This is the finisher for this one. And since I said I was going to show it off as well, even though you can just click it with a button, we are going to bring in this thing. All right, now that we have this in, I'm not going to do this for everything, and now we have all these gear stands in the way. I am going to show off the finisher sounds in the with the Ruko no Geki for the two uh, six rangers that we now have. So you hear a little bit of all of Jewel of the World's uh, animals there, which is pretty neat. Because, uh, you know, they have all the Six Ranger finisher attacks programmed into the Ruko no Geki, which is really neat. Alright, so that's going to pretty much do it. Uh, we have one more toy, though, that I want to show off that I have not been able to show off in other videos. So uh, let's uh, cut to a little transition here and get this all set up. All right, so recently I got this thing. So now I can show you something really, really cool. So I'm just going to kind of turn this on for a flashlight. So what's really neat is that they've programmed six ranger sounds or six ranger colors into this thing. Uh, so if you scan a team using the Tigradora, the sword will light up the color of that team's uh, six ranger. And that even works for the Sentai teams that this thing does not give a designated six ranger name to. Let's go ahead and show it off. So it's orange, because in here is Tokuroko Go. So that is so cool. Next up, we have Jewel of the World. So, I don't know if you can tell, but it's lighting up uh, purple, which is for black, and then gold and silver, so like a white, yellow, and purple. So it all does the same generic sound, but it did recognize in the colors the three different forms of Jewel of the World, and now it's all pitch black. And now this also will recognize Legend Sentai, like I said, that don't have Six Ranger names, or even technically Six Rangers at all. So I am going to go ahead and show off Geki Ranger, because Geki Rangers, if I remember correctly, should light the sword up black and white for Geki Violet and Geki Chopper, respectively, which is really cool. So it's a purple and white light for Gecky Violet and Chopper. By the way, if you don't have this sword, highly, highly recommend it. It's freaking cool. When you scan a gear in the Dawn Blaster, it lights up the colors of all the Sentai members on the team. Uh, but then if you scan it on the Tiger Door, it lights up six Rangers. Now, I'm not 100% sure what it will do for Car Ranger, to be honest with you. Because, I mean, in my mind, it could light up purple and blue for VRV Master and Signal Man, but I don't think it's going to do that. So 
Okay, so it's doing the generic one. So when it doesn't have a specific Sentai, like, Six Ranger color scheme in mind, it just lights up gold and silver uh, for any other Sentai. So, like, Go Ranger or something like that would light up that color. And, uh, yeah, you still can't see anything. All right, and with that, that is going to do it for my review of the Gashapon Obertaro Gears Set 4. This is a very good set. I highly recommend it. Of course, if you are a gear completionist, you're going to need these two Red Sentai. You're going to need these two Six Rangers. I guess you're going to need that Ultra Gear since it is technically different. Down and Torbolt is the only gear in here that I don't really need any particular reason to have a duplicate of, but it's always nice having duplicates of the main team so you don't have to, like, you know, get your actual, like, nice deluxe ones all messed up or scratched up or anything like that just to kind of have as, like, a fun little thing to have. So, and of course, like I said, if you didn't buy the Tiger Dora, then yeah, for sure. So if you have all the Don Brothers toys, like if you have the Tiger Dora and the Don Blaster, and you have the Zong Glass Sword and the Ruku no Geki, you get a lot of use out of these, as you can see. Uh, even though technically all of these, for the most part, you can get sounds out of already with Sentai Gears and stuff like that. So you don't need these ones in particular, but I do really like them. And like I said, if you want to complete your Avataro Gear and Six Ranger Gear collections, you're going to have to track down this set. So until next time, you guys can follow me on Twitter at LiveRangerKey or at LandFigPR. You can check out all of my Avataro Gear videos linked in the playlist in the end card. And I will see you all next time.